Congolese authorities have admitted difficulties in preparing the eastern parts of the country for elections because of the new violence. President Felix Tshisekedi on Friday said the immediate priority was to resettle displaced people. This too has faced a challenge from renewed violence. He said, we are continuing to make efforts to bring our people back to their homes, to their villages, the president said in an interview recorded earlier but only published on Friday by Radio France International and France 24 TV. Electoral managers in the Democratic Republic of Congo had increasingly resigned to the fact that parts of the country in the east where violence has resurfaced would be excluded from the elections due on November, December 20th. The Independent National Electoral Commission SENI Chair Dennis Kadima had earlier assured the public that the elections would be on a schedule. It is now clear that eastern regions like Masisi, Ruchuru, and parts of Ninangongo in North Kivu will be excluded. There is a flesh war in this Kivu region which has prevented many Congolese from registering on the electoral roll. Seni admitted that there was a huge backlog. Mr. Kadima's fears first expressed at the very beginning of his mandate have been confirmed when he took up the position. He often cited security constraints as a major obstacle to successful elections. Far from the troubled province of Kivu, Kwamouth in Kwango province and the surrounding area some 100 kilometers from the city of Kinshasa are also likely to miss the election. In these territories, a dispute over agricultural royalties has led to a bloody conflict between the communities causing militia incursions as far as the outskirts of Kinshasa. The fighting has resulted in nearly 300 deaths over the past year, according to Congolese officials. According to Mr. Kadima, Seni is ready to carry out voter registration in 10 days if the situation improves. No one is hiding their doubts about the participation in the elections of the Congolese from Masisi, Ruchuru, Hinangongo, and Kwama. The first vice chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Bienvenu Ilanga, publicly expressed his doubts this week. For Masisi and Ruchuru, everything will depend on developments in the security situation in our country. So we are going to wait until the conditions are right for us to get moving. If need be, said Jules Mugilaneza, an MP in the outgoing National Assembly. Mugilaneza expressed the willingness of the local people to participate in the elections. The people, he added, had a deep and legitimate desire to be registered like other compatriots. The government in Kinshasa, however, remains optimistic. Last month, a meeting of members of the government, President Felix Tshisekedi, gave instructions to the government, in particular to Prime Minister Sama Lukonde and ministers of the Interior and Defense to ensure the security of electoral operations in the territories of Kwamouth, Masisi, and Buchuru. But with just one day to go before the start of the electoral campaign, virtually all the people displaced by war are not going to elect their candidates.